Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, we basically made our way to Mobile City um, right after getting Cosplay Pikachu. Uh, we made a lot of progress, really. Um, took down May and made it all the way over to Mobile. Guitarist Kirk, well, hello there. Your Magnemite's not going to be too big of an issue, especially with Marsh Tom. Marsh Tomp, like I've been mentioning a few times, is going to just steamroll this area because the between Water Gun, which should be super effective against any Magnemite. No, never mind. Water is not super effective against Steel, which I thought I, I guess I should have known that. However, in either case, the. Are you kidding me? 1 HP? Really, game? Do you want to leave him with 1 HP? Alright, anyways. Between Pikachu being able to Lightning Rod and collect any of the electric attacks for actually a special attack boost, and Marsh Tomp just generally being invincible to uh, electric. Alright, Mud Shot, which is 55, Mud Bomb, which is 65. However, the loss of accuracy is not enough for me. So I'm going to avoid it. Sorry about that, that was. Um, for some reason, my phone was just acting up for a second there. That's the ch 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 But it didn't get a text, it didn't um, get a call or anything, so I'm not sure what actually happened there. But we're up against Electric now. I don't know why I always think Steel is weak to water. Um, Mud Shot. Gonna take a solid hit from him, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, super effective. Um, pretty much anything but Magnemites I'm just going to, to spam using um, uh, Mud Shot or Mud Bomb or whatever one I have to have done. So we step on this button and it switches the electrical. Same with the blue one. And the path forward has opened. There was your tutorial. One encounter and all that. So we can already see we're going to be doing another encounter right away. There's no way to avoid it. Uh, there's no way to convince him to move into the path of the red electricity, just for fun. Nothing. You're stuck with it, and he's just got a single electric. We just took one out in a single hit, we're not too worried. Uh, we're gonna mud shot and finish him off. I hope. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if he lives with like 1 HP, I'm gonna be a little upset. I just guess my Marsh Charm wasn't as strong as I thought it was. But you can already see there's a button right next to him. We're going to avoid hitting that right now. We're going to hit this top one, and that'll turn the beams sideways. Next we can hit this red one, and see, we can actually ignore this person. We're going to fight them because they're a gym trainer, we want the experience. But we can ignore them if we feel like it. Uh, we can't ignore the youngster at the beginning, he's impossible to avoid apparently. Uh, just because he blocks the only path you can walk through. So, we're up against a Metatite, not electric based at all, uh, surprisingly enough, and hits us with confusion. Fortunately, we're not um, fighting. Wow, Water Gun did nothing. Um, Rock Tomb, I guess. I'm really thinking just how few physical attacks this Marsh Tomb has. Okay, the speed fell at least, that's something Mudshot now. We outspeed it, finally. Mudshot's not quite enough to take it out. But I don't think we're at risk for dying from that. Um, let's end it with Tackle, I guess. Meditate goes down. Now, here's where we're in luck that we went running down and did the uh, Seaside House. Because now we don't have to run and go heal. We've still got plenty of PP for our moves, uh, but we can just use the bag. And I'm gonna try to get used to staying looking at the screen while I do this. Uh, we've got a few potions. I'm gonna use the potions first because they only heal 20. Oh yeah, 20. Uh, whereas soda pops heal 30, so one soda pop would have full healed me, uh, but wasted some where I can just chug a few. I'm surprised we have as many Ram Berries as we do. But we can hit this button. And now it's just a straight shot to the boss after this last uh, fighter. What are we fighting next? Guitarist? Guitarist? What? Uh, Sean. Hello, Sean. Uh, we're going to take you out. Uh, 
a Voltorb, so we're gonna be weak to Mudshot like our other, like the other ones. If it wasn't for um, Sonic Boom, I think is the one move I have to worry about here. I don't even think he has anything to really take advantage of his Screech. Because he did just lower our attack. I mean, sorry, our defense sharply, so we're minus two right now. How I miss uh, Gen 7s whenever I go back. This is a move that would take advantage of. Should have taken advantage of it. We're going to take four damage this turn. Roll is a nice move where it doubled each turn. Uh, thankfully, doing two damage to start means we don't have much to worry about. And we're up against his third Pokemon now. I don't even need to worry about healing yet, since we only have, what, six points of damage? He doesn't have a third po- I thought he had an elect- He had, like, a Magmite or something to finish off, but I guess not. Let's fight Watson. He gives us one of our my favorite uh, TMs in the game. It's Shockwave, which is going to be a strong move that's going to boost- Oh, uh, sorry, it's, it's an always hit, and it's a strong electric attack. Uh, between it and Aerial Ace, you're basically kind of got your bases covered. However, Aerial Ace wins because there's not any type of Pokemon who's immune to Aerial Ace. Sure, you might not be doing the most damage with Aerial Ace, but um, like against a type that resists it, so an electric maybe? I don't know. I forget what flying is resisted by. In any case, you might not be doing the most damage with it, but you're always going to hit force of damage. So when it comes to um, SOSs in the newer gens, it's better to have um, that up. It's dirty, of course. So its speed fell. We already were fast then, so we're not too worried. And it didn't screech us or anything else that really should weaken us, so we're good here. We're actually going to do the tackle, because even if this is a full heal, we would just put him into a sturdy phase again if we hit him. So much shot at this point should kill. We're still faster, it's still four levels lower than us. Yeah, only four levels. I'm a little surprised how small the gap tends to be. Uh, keep battling, we're gonna just mud slap again. Magneton might have sturdy, but I don't think we're gonna kill it in one hit at this point. A strong hit from Magnet Bomb, but you can already see, not very effective. Oh, it didn't have sturdy, it has had levitate or something. Good job, Pikachu, you being that level. Keep old moves. As much as I'd love to use Double Team on you, I don't have the space available for it. Keep battling, and all that's left is Voltorb. This is the one I think we have to worry about Sonic moves from. Um, much shot, why not? Charge! Gonna boost any electric, sorry, any special moves uh, that's coming after it. And it's alive! So. Water gun. Yeah, we're gonna finish it with water just to see what happens. Nothing. I'm worrying also about self destructs coming out. But there, Marshamp wasn't even that over level. Um, what was it? Magneton was 21. So Marshamp being 23 really wasn't that bad. But that means we have finished gym three, and because we started at the beginning of the gym, we're not gonna be stopping right at the end. I'm, I'm officially breaking that trend. You don't give Shockwave anymore, you give Volt Switch. I mean, Volt Switch is probably more beneficial for Pikachu, but still, it's just, oh. So we're gonna leave this area. I'm so sad, I loved back in Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby when he did give Shockwave, because Shockwave, as I was saying, is one of my favorite moves for it. Let's head north, I think there's a little cutscene. Where are we going again? Mount Chimney. All right, they're headed to Mount Chimney, which is around Route 112. So we're gonna head back down, heal, and then join them. Uh, I think Pikachu has been—he was shelved for that entire gym, which, had we been using anyone but Marsh Tom, wouldn't have happened because Pikachu is a great Pokemon for that gym, especially with Lightning Rod as a basic guaranteed ability. Uh, the only move you really have to worry about is Rollout. So we'll put Pikachu in the lead. It's already got Rock Smash, which is what we need Pikachu to have. Uh, we trained, we gave it Rock Smash through uh, the HM without right before the gym started. 
but it's the first example of needing an HM move to progress. First badge gave you access to using um, cut outside of battle, so on the field. Um, the second H I mean, the second gym badge gave us access to flash, I assume. I actually don't remember because it's another one that isn't needed for anything. However, this one requires rock smash, and you can't actually make it past this area without it. And there's Geodude. So had we still had Marsh Tomp, this would be perfect free experience. Uh, since we don't have Marsh Tomp, I'm actually just going to run from the battle and save Pikachu's PP and HP for uh, the next few trainer battles, such as this guy. Oh, I don't feel like double battling. Literally, that's going to be every time I see those two, I don't feel like double battling. Because I don't like the interview they do afterwards, really. And that's... It's silly, but that's the entire reason. Hello, Plusle. It's a shame. Outside of double battles, you're not that useful. Inside of double battles, your ability is actually really trolling. We're an Electro Ball, because I think we have enough speed on this Plusle that... Nope. No, we don't. Alright. Box smash then, I guess. I can't believe the one we get rid of is a quick attack. Defense fell. Alright, so that means we're killing it this next hit. Honestly, that puzzle's hitting us pretty hard. But, I mean, at least with Box Smash, we do have a way of dealing with the electric type fights. I'm just looking forward to getting to fight the wonderful Minin next. Oh, it looks. There must be someone up ahead that has Minin and Volbeat, because those are the two ones that trade off. Icicle Crash, because I believe it's a bug type. So, this is going to hit harder than at least the Electric will. Charm, I'm hitting you with special moves. Are you sure that's, that's the move you want to use? I just finished up the playthrough of Ultra Moon. Uh, it would have been a few hours ago now. Um, so... I, I keep looking for things that I'm honestly expecting to see, like the um, super effective, not very effective, that sort of thing. And it's actually untrained. I used to have it off the top of my head that, like, oh, fire is going to be super effective on bugs, and ice is going to be super effective against dragons and grass and all that. But I don't remember most of them, and it, I'm going to have to blame Gen 7 for the most part. You, are you the one with the other two? I'm full of pet. My Pokemon is peppy too. Alright, well, Travis, let's see. You only have one Pokemon, and it's a Sandshrew. Probably not the most uh, favorable matchup for Pikachu. But, I mean, we're four levels ahead. I don't feel like swapping. We're gonna Icicle Crash. And just hope that it deals with one of their natural weaknesses. Super effective. Magnitude 8, however, means Pikachu's dead. Not the end of the world, though. We don't have too many encounters uh, between here and the uh, next healing spot. Notice I say healing spot and not, like, um, town. Because you don't heal in the next town. In fact, if I remember correctly, you might actually heal right past this corner. Uh, which is why I don't want to make the uh, trek back. Worst case, it's right after the next cave which uh, did, doesn't take nearly as long, and we won't march on bleeding anyways for it. So we'll run to here, Route 112. This is where we're going for Mount Chimney. Thank you. Thank you, May. Uh, we were just told that by a team Aqua Grunt maybe three minutes ago. But sure. There's a cable car to the top. And like I mentioned way back at the beginning, May is going to... Basically, heal your team every time May sees them. And now we get Strength, which I believe is the other HM I intended to put on to Pikachu, uh, surprisingly enough. So, we're going to do that right now. I know it doesn't make too much sense, but because it's a no-catch, uh, we got to find someone to give each of these to. And while we could give it to Marsh Tomp, well, Marsh Tomp's already going to be bogged down with a few HMs. Uh, we do not want to force him to have an extra one if we can. 
we're gonna get rid of Electra. No, he's sorry, Thunder Wave. We need to keep Icicle Crash. That one is guaranteed we're gonna be keeping it because it's my counter to grass types, at least early game. Uh, later in the game, we'll have more Pokemon to pick from, so more chances to, you know, counter uh, grass types. But until then, we are stuck with what we've got now, which thankfully deals with flying types just as well. But it's a Pikachu, so uh, I hope it has its own way of dealing with flying types. Icicle Crash, one hit, probably gonna take out Kalo. I was right. I'm looking forward to Pikachu's actual uh, trip to the sixth badge. Uh, we're gonna keep battling because it's another flying type. Uh, sure, it's part bug, but Icicle Crash just as effective as on flying as poison flying. Yeah, I don't know why I said part bug for a second there. I forgot the Zubat family is entirely poison. But there, we have managed to beat Camper Larry. We don't get as much experience as I'd like from these battles, but it doesn't help that we are a few levels over. Um, so, you can head here, you have this guy if you want to fight someone. Uh, and now that we've entered this cave, actually I should probably show why we're going in the cave. Uh, excuse me, hiker. Team Aqua's blocking the gate. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Uh, because Team Aqua is blocking the gate, we're stuck having to go through this fiery path to try to make it around. Uh, if I was paying more attention to what May said, uh, I think they may have mentioned it. No, they mentioned they want to go off cable cars. Um, there's a block for strength. We don't have the, the next gym, so not important. I would say, we almost got through that cave with no encounters. Which would have made the swamp useless. Oh, it's Grimer! Poison type. I don't think it has any other uh, side type. I'm gonna run. Uh, if it was anything fire types that should be in fiery path, then all right, it would work well. But short of that, you know, let's fight this guy. I think he's gonna be a delinquent. No, he's not a delinquent. He's a. I don't know what is he. Street thug. Ah, Jalen the street thug with their mighty Anna. See, we're not really too worried. It's a level 17 Mighty Anna. It's going to intimidate us. No, it has run away. It doesn't even have Intimidate, which would have been a beautiful move for it to have. Because uh, you're guaranteed to have someone uh, get hurt by it. But without even Intimidate, what is your threat, Mighty Anna? Do, do you have a threat? Snarl boost your attack or what? I'll lower my special. Okay, Rock Tomb. Mighty Anna goes down. Um, we're heal Whoa. See, that was some decent experience. So we're going to be looking for like Mighty Annas to fight. They at least give decent 661. What are these? Raths? Those don't look like Actually, they do kind of look like raspberries, so I, I have to agree with them there. Prism, or Parasum. I should have spent some time in between episodes and planted some berries, because then I could grab them when we swung by Marvel City next. But, I mean, that cave is, I mean, that path is done. Route leading us to Route 111, and this Ace Trainer. Is he an Ace Trainer? Actually, I don't know. Because usually I'm used to blue as Ace Trainer, but... No, it's Ace Trainer. Alright, so I was right. Now, uh, red for Gen 6. Then, oh, in the, um... I'm gonna keep saying Ultra Moon, they're wearing the blue vests and stuff like that. Electric will help. We, we handled a few of those in the last gym, so we're not too worried. We'll take the quick attack. Nothing we could really do to avoid it. Um, even an item use would just mean we have more defense for it. Bagon. Yeah, we're gonna switch Pokemon. Thanks to him using Bagon. This is the other reason we wanted Pichu. Um, sure, Marsh Tomp can eventually get a um, Ice move itself, but I mean, without purchasing it, it's going to be uh, annoying. So we're gonna Icicle Crash and take down. But I guess we are saving a lot of money on no Pokeballs. 
for this run. So, doesn't quite take out Bagot. I think that's the biggest downfall to Pikachu. It just doesn't have the strength needed to handle it. On that note, we're using strength. Which just apparently lets us beat up Bagot. I mean, it's got access to some good moves in the turn with, um... Yeah, we're gonna... Actually, no, we don't need to switch for Mahavita. Uh, it's got some good moves with um, Electro Ball and Icicle Crash. <sighs> of course. Flinched and couldn't move. So, Electro Ball? I figured we had some decent speed on it. Ooh. Since we still have speed on it, Electro Ball should work. And that will actually end out this guy's fight. And once again, it's another situation where I'm not too worried about my health because, as you'll see soon, there is a heal up point right around the corner. So, we're gonna head up and see another tutorial. Just as it's capable of the rest, there's a secret spot here. Or my name's not whatever I just said. Hello, random gentlemen. The name's Arun. You know, Vavorn sent 11 years trying to find, and now he's making super secret bases. And we get secret power, a nice TM, not too, too useful, but it does allow you to make a secret base. And um, So you would just use uh, secret power right here, and ta-da! He opens up a path and you can climb into a tree, or into the side of a cliff, or... Are those the only two types of spawns? Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, sorry, or a bush. So, it looks like a nice place, and he's just gonna give it to us. Okay, we gotta tell him we're totally thrilled. There you go. What do you say when you're happy? I'm never happy. But yeah, there you go. And that's going to be just your greeting for the first time in a secret base. He, he sets you up with all that stuff. And we're just going to leave the secret base and never return. Because, well, there are some cool things you can do with it. Uh, such as get even Master Balls. Um, there's not too much I want to do with it. Collect the flag next to the PC. Uh, once you get to 30, I believe you unlock the bronze flag, which gives access to the second tier of skills and the first place you can get the master balls. Uh, and then I know the other milestone is a thousand. Yeah, a thousand flags. Alright, so if we had cut, we could cut through that bush and go through there. However, since we don't, we're just going to ignore it, take this top route, and enter the next area. Route 113. And we see May, and big guess what uh, May is gonna do? Gonna heal us. Um, that house that we just passed is actually another place we can heal. Uh, I always did it my first like when I started this game. I would walk through, heal there, then walk forward, and May would heal us. Um, we're headed to Professor Cosmo's house. She just mentioned. Uh, so we want to head there. But I think this is a good place to to cut it off right at the beginning of Route 113. So, thank you guys all for watching this episode of the Pokemon Out Sapphire No Catch. In the next part, we will walk through Route 113 and go meet Professor Cosmo. Maybe he has a way for us to get to the top of Mount Chimney. See you guys then.